Alrighty, Chef Buck here, and today we're gonna cook up some cheeseburger jalapeno poppers. Camera girl loves these things because she doesn't like too much uh, cream cheese. So these aren't as cream cheesy because we're gonna put about eight ounces of lean ground beef in here. Lean, because you don't want it to be too greasy, right? So go ahead and take eight ounces of beef, brown it up. You know, we don't have to overcook it. You know, just enough to brown it in a skillet. We're gonna go ahead and throw some onions in there. To flavor it up, we're gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper and Worcestershire sauce, you know? We're not gonna get overly dramatic with the seasonings because that's gonna be plenty. It's gonna be a popper. It's gonna have lots of cheese and all the jalapeno, so you don't have to go crazy on the spices and the seasoning with your meat here. Just super simple. Brown it up and then boom, get it off the heat and we'll let it cool down. You know, while it's cooling down, we'll prepare our poppers. You know, no, we're not. We are preparing our poppers, but we'll prepare our jalapenos. That's what I meant to say, right? We're just going to take them, and I'm using about 10 for this recipe. Just cut off the end. Boom, not too deep. Just basically the stem, because you want to leave the back intact. Because we're going to slice them in half and fill them up and bake them. So you want the jalapeno boat to be intact so your cheese doesn't run out, right? So just take a spoon, you know, and dig out all those seeds and those ribs, but leave the back intact. How many times am I going to say that? Maybe once more, right? You know, just scoop it all out so it's nice and hollow, but it'll float. You know, you want it to be structurally sound so you have a lot of jalapeno boats. Amazing! Children love these. I used to get these for Christmas every year. You know, they're like little toys, right? I would play motorboat. Mm -hmm. It was so much fun, but it really wasn't. I had a very lame childhood. Now I'm gonna take a bowl, put about three quarters of the cream cheese in there, but don't you do that. You put all the cream cheese in there. That's what I would do, but Camera Girl wants me just to put three quarters. Add your meat that's cooled down. I'm putting in a little blue cheese, and I'm also putting in a mixture of shredded Monterey and cheddar, but you could just use cheddar or Monterey or just blue cheese. You know, if it was just me, I would just do the blue cheese because the blue cheese and the cream cheese and the ground beef is muy fantastico. But whatever cheese you're gonna use, go ahead and mix it all up, and it should end up looking up like a high-grade dog food, you know, like a high-quality like a denti more, but it's gonna taste so much better than that. So go ahead and fill up your jalapeno boat. Don't overfill it, you know, it just needs to be right to the top, just a little bit over, and that'll be plenty, you know, that way you're going to maintain the proper jalapeno to filling ratio. Fill them all up, and then we'll go ahead and move on to the next step, which is coating the top with some breadcrumbs. And you can use whatever kind of breadcrumbs you want. I'm using panko breadcrumbs and I'm going to go ahead and throw it in the skillet and push it around so my breadcrumbs will absorb whatever what little bit of grease is in there because I hate to waste grease you know because uh, my grandfather was in the depression and uh, you know he instilled that value in me right but you don't have to do this part plus you know I don't have to dirty up another pan I'm lazy <laughs> so go ahead and coat the tops of all your jalapenos boom slide them in the oven 25 minutes at 400 degrees and look how unattractive that is. But that's okay, because it doesn't have to be pretty, because now we're gonna cheeseburger it up, right, with some more cheese. Now, Camera Girl loves the cheddar on there. I love the blue cheese on there. Do whichever you like, but the blue cheese one is the best. The blue cheese one kicks the ass of the other one. But do whatever you think you're gonna like best, or do them both, like we're doing here and then you decide. But if you do both of them and try both of them, in the future you will always do the blue cheese. That's what I'm thinking. But anyway, maybe you're like her and you'll like the other ones. But that's it. Boom. It tastes great. It's easy to make. Looks fantastico. You know, if you want to print the recipe, go over to the website, uh, myfoodchannel.com. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I'm out of words.